Key Biscayne. Key Rant, welcome to another episode of Key Biscayne Stories. Today, I bring you a Key Biscayne startup, WeTier, which is a app, it is a website, you know, that connects volunteers with organizations started by a, a brother and sister team here, Key Biscayne residents, Federico and, Camil and Camila Aquarone. Welcome to the show, guys. How are you guys doing today? Good. Great. Great. Thank you for Thank having you. us today. Oh no, my pleasure, Ronnie. I think we're excited to to always receive um, individuals who are starting their own projects here in our island. So, we tier. How did that start? So, um, we came up with we tier. We are both class presidents in our school. I'm the junior class president. My brother's the sophomore. And we had a lot of classmates come up to us asking us all the time about community service hours. So to graduate high school, you need 100 community service hours. There, we saw this big issue with, within our classmates not knowing where to volunteer or um, volunteering about causes that you're passionate about. So we wanted to create an app that would allow the volunteer to sign up and check out any um, volunteering events here uh, close by in, in Miami. And then we've also been on the other side, the organization side, and it's always hard trying to find volunteers. Some days you might get two volunteers and then other days you might get 20. So we wanted to make it an, an easier process um, overall for volunteering and, and yes, and create the app, the platform where it's, it connects both in a simple way. I can definitely testify as a, a work for local government and it's hard to find volunteers all the time. It's like, how do you reach out to the schools? How do, who, who is the class president that year? I don't know how often you guys rotate, but um, yeah, definitely looking for volunteers is a challenge. So I'm glad that, that you guys are tackling on this need. Um, how are you guys dividing duties? Um, well, I've, she's been working more on like the side of speaking to people and things like that, right? And I've been doing more of the writing because that's my strong suit. She's more like um, outgoing, you know, what else? Yes, so like you said, so the he's really good at writing. So whenever we need um, to create kind of like a, what do you, how do you call it? Like a, a paragraph or a, a anything. base for anything for our, our app or whatever, he he's the one. And then, but overall we've been, we made a pretty good team whenever, since we're siblings, whenever we need something, we get it done quickly. We're right next to each other. So it's been great. Now, you guys recently won um, a recognition or an award at the Key Cane Children Business Fair, right? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about, about that? Yes, we did. We were really excited. We got a uh, most original idea. Um, this was voted by the, the judges, so we were really excited. Um, we also had it with the other, we had like two sides. We had the Ocean Vita Youth, which is also um, a group that we are with. We conduct beach cleanups every other Saturday in Crandon Beach. And we've been trying to raise awareness in kids. So we would love to work with that in the future too. And, and they go together, we tier in Ocean Vita, so. So tell me more about how the app works. Okay, so as a volunteer, when you first download the app and sign up, the first question you're going to see is it's going to ask you, what are your superpowers, which is like another word for skills. So for example, you can put like heavy lifting, speak Spanish. What are some other examples? You Communication can skills, can drive. And these superpowers kind of define you as a volunteer and can open up the door for like the volunteer opportunities that are offered to you. After you choose your superpowers, it asks you which causes you're most passionate about. So the app can give you events related with those causes. And for example, like environment, um, what else? Homelessness. Children, homelessness, elderly, things like that. Once you sign up, once you're done with that, it takes you to the homepage where it recommends different events for you. And through the app, you can sign up for different events. And in the calendar, you can see all the different events you signed up for. Additionally, you can put a little heart on events that you want to sign up for, but you're not sure if you can yet. 
And those also show up in the calendar just as a reminder that like, hey, you wanted to sign up, but you didn't um, officially sign up yet. You can also see many different organizations and follow them. And in the profile section, it logs all of the hours, the hours at the at the things you volunteered through through the app. And then for the organizational side, how does that look like? For the side of the organizations, currently they're signing up through Google Forms, which there's two separate ones. There's one for the organization, which they input, which creates their profile and they input all the information about them. And then there's one for the events that they make one each time they have an event. And right after they do it, they're placed on the app um, as an organization or whenever they have an event. Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. I mean, I, I actually downloaded the app and I started... Uh, surfing through it and it's you guys have a lot of local organizations already there so it's pretty cool to see you know that is that is packed and uh, i mean i myself look forward to to sign my organization <laughs> the one i work for um to see if we can get some volunteers and whenever we do some food distributions in uh, in the county um i like that you guys use the word um, superpowers where does that come from Yes, so, um, well, like he said, superpowers are skills um, that we believe that everyone has. Like everyone has their own superpowers and the superpowers are what you um, will use when you go and volunteer and help others. The idea came out um, from a book. It was inspired from a book that I, that I read. Um, and basically, yeah, the book, there, there was a kid that was being bullied, but he, he, didn't, he didn't believe he was being bullied um, like everyone was ignoring him and he thought he had the power of invisibility like his superpower was being invisible so that's how the idea came out like everything um everyone's different but everyone has their own superpower everyone has their um power to help others so that's how the, the idea came i mean i like it it's it's very fresh very seamless and very clean and very nice which is all the correct characteristics you want to see in, in apps and, and websites to make it seamless and easy to use and, and inviting, right? You want people to be like, oh, this is a great experience. And that was the first uh, feeling that I had when I downloaded it before our interview. I was like, wow, they, they really put in a lot of work and in and, and, and designing this very well. So congratulations on that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, as, as, as siblings, uh, you know, working starting a business or an, or anything with with family can sometimes be super positive and it has its challenges as well right so how that experience has that been for you guys working together and developing a, a, a startup well i think i think it's been great because whenever we need to get something done we're like i said before we're right next to each other yeah. so in that sense i think the biggest challenge though was trying to separate like family from um creating the app sometimes we'd be in dinner we would still yeah. be talking about it um so you'd have to create kind of like a division between the both but i think uh -huh. overall it's been super positive and it's worked out better for us it's benefited us when it comes to the startup journey itself from idea to actually making it happen what has been some of the challenges you guys have overcome with the development process and startup process? Well, um, I think obviously you start with an idea, like even now looking at the first drawing and seeing the app, it's, it's been crazy. It's been a great journey and we've learned a lot, um, but it is the challenges you, we would have thought that we would have done it in a quicker time, but there's some setbacks that always show up. So. I believe when we first had the app in the in the app store, there were several changes we had to make. So we had to wait like a week before we could go um, and tell and promote it to everyone. So I believe that was that was the biggest thing that we learned that not you have to adjust and you have to there's going to be some changes. But but yeah, it's a very long process. Long process, but super rewarding. Was the time one of the challenges you guys didn't expect? Uh, yes, I think so. Not only the time, but having other setbacks that then the, the time was going to take a longer time. Yeah. So we thought it was going to be a, a quicker process, but we knew it was going to be hard, but just a quicker process overall.
So tell me more about the design process from idea to, I'm sure you guys wrote it on paper, on little post notes or, or anything. How did, from, is it from idea to design, to contacting the developers, to, to actually seeing your, seeing your first real draft? So I still have the first drafts because we did it in an iPad. So I have like the little drawings. I remember we have from the superpowers, everything. Um, that was like the first draft. Then um, I created, we created a, a second draft. And then from that step, that's when we contacted the developers and we started working with them. We've been sending them, like I sent them our kind of like second or third draft. Um, they saw it, they, we, did it like a prototype we've been having meetings almost like like this was summer so we've been working with this project for a year now almost yeah a little bit more than a year yeah. so in summer was when we started contacting the developers and having meetings with them meeting with them like maybe once a week um then they're like showing us the prototype they show us the prototype we say what we want to change some things we have to change um and yes and then Ever, like as it progressed, we would meet more often. We would tell them um, new ideas, things that would come up later that we would um, think about, like liability, everything that comes up later in the process. Um, and yeah, and then recently it's been it's been a lot more of kind of fixing the little things. And then yeah, we got it in the app, and now we're still meeting with them. Um, currently working on other parts of the app that we would love to incorporate. So we're going to keep on like this during this process. Yeah, because this this has to have faces, right? As Apple <laughs> updates, you guys yeah. think this is going to be a constant thing. Are you guys ready for that? Are you guys looking forward to that journey? Yes, we're so excited for that journey. We have so many uh, ideas that we want to to put in the app to make it better, to make it more interactive. So we're super excited. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. We're both looking forward to it. So this is this is phase one, I guess, of of the of your app. Yes. All right. What is how does that second phase look like? Well, the second phase is going to have the the profile for the organizations, so they're going to be able to log in and create their event through the app, and then that's when we approve it, and it's it's just there. So that's going to be easier for the organizations. Um, and then, yeah, and then we're going to have uh, an explore page where you can search for certain organizations specifically. And yes, there's a couple of other things that we're, we don't want to spoil, but <laughs> we, hopefully we will be able to put them in the app. Okay, cool. And if you have no limitations to funding or any, any limitations, what is the dream for the app to become? What is that? I think what we would love to happen is for it to be used like nationwide right and expand like just beyond QS game beyond miami and just be huge and be able to use by everyone and everyone like being able to use it and facilitating the process for volunteering awesome awesome so who is this app for who can use this is it just for youth um, no, the application, we made it for people of all ages. So anyone, uh, little kids, high schoolers, adults, anyone who feels like going out to volunteer, mm -hmm. they can go and they can volunteer. Overall, we want this to be a, a facilitating process and we want it to also raise awareness. Like in, in little kids um, don't need community service hours, but that's not why we do volunteering. So we believe that when you volunteer, you learn a lot, you grow a lot. So we always say to like, when you're helping others, you're helping yourself. So we want this to be a super um, growing, um, volunteering, like learning from volunteering. And also in adults, like I know that everyone's super busy, but sometimes you do have a weekend off or a day off that you wanna spend helping others. Um, our mom is also an inspiration. She's always been saying like, oh, I would love to help the elderly, but it's always been hard trying to find like, opportunities where you could go and help. So with this app, hopefully everyone of all ages can log in and try to find something to help. So Camila, you mentioned your mom. So tell me more about your parents supporting this. I'm, no, I'm sure they've been around providing you with mentorship and guidance. Can you guys tell me more about that? 
they've been super our parents have been super supportive um we couldn't have done half of the app without them ever since the beginning they've pushed us if they said if we if we did the work if we um stuck through it we were going to be able to do it and we were able to do it so not only with that they've also helped us um with meetings with new ideas with more technical side um everything so we're super grateful for them because we know that without them we could have done we couldn't even have done it so yes it's been great very having. helpful how would you say they interacted were they with you guys the entire time or look or do they come in provide feedback and ideas and then step back and let you guys develop I think, um, well, yes, like we would think of ideas, do them, and then they would give us feedback. But then now more recently with having um, the app at the app store, they've been helping us with, um, with everything, with everything. <laughs> um, feedback, new ideas, uh, reaching out to people. So it's been great having them. That's awesome. It's great. It's great to have your parents around, provide you with that feedback and support uh, and bring you that structure you know, to, to, yeah. to the startup. So, you know, what, one of the things that we saw at the Kiwi's Game Children's Business Fair, it was so many youth with so many ideas. So it's great to have organizations locally that support that. In your case, in the tech app space, what would you say to other kids that want to do something like that, but are concerned with their abilities of achieving something like that? Well, I think... Um, no matter what kind of project you're thinking of, it's super important, like the number one thing to not give up. I know it's yeah. cliche, but when you're working for something um, that you're, you're truly passionate and you're doing it for the right reasons, you're doing it because you love, because if you have a project that you're doing for the wrong reasons or you, you don't really um, relate to it or you care, about it. care about it, then it's not going to get done. But if you are truly passionate, it's really important um, to keep on going there's going to be times that you're going to feel discouraged but that's normal that's part of the process you're going to learn you're going to make mistakes and learn from them and you're going to come back stronger so i think that's the number one advice to keep on going and then it'll be a super rewarding thing when you see your project done um yeah and super you'll be super proud of yourself so i know it can be challenging the whole process of starting up, you know, that that's why a lot of people don't do it. Have you guys thought about giving up at any moment through the process? No, we haven't. There it's been there have been some challenging and frustrating times, I would say, but never thought about just completely giving up. We powered through it and we committed and stayed. Yeah. So like the frustrating time it's it's um we never thought, like you said, about giving up, but we sometimes we wonder how far away are we from the finish line. Like, um, it was just frustrating with a couple of setbacks, but I believe that we, yeah, like you said, we got through that and then we made it. So we're not completely done yet, but we made it to the first checkpoint. <laughs> no, I love it. I, I and I think that is where a lot of entrepreneurs fail. They they feel that pressure or they see that wall you know, and, and they don't power through it. And then once you power through it or you climb over that wall, you realize that it was not that big of a deal once you find a solution. So I've been there. I know what that is. So congratulations on this amazing idea. Thank you. So one of the things we like to do here in Kibiskane Stories is talk about Kibiskane. So you guys are Kibiskane residents. You guys are growing up here in the Key. So what is a good weekend for you guys on the in the Key? How does that look like? Well, um, well, we love going to, well, obviously the to beach. the beach, um, but I think that for us, it's been really great living here because um, we kind of get to go around um, with a little bit more freedom than we would if we, if we didn't live here. All our friends live close by, so um, a great weekend, I would say, is just, yeah, being with friends. It's easier um, going to the beach. Enjoying the community. Mm -hmm. time in the community exactly the park everyone every time you go i go and run around the park i always um find um people i know yeah. or the i think you said the market the no oh, yeah the farmer's market on, farmer's on market. Saturdays, yeah <laughs> any anything you recommend in the farmer's market 
We usually get, I get I the, like the, the side balls. The side balls. The side, the side, side balls. balls. Okay, nice. Awesome. Yeah. Camila, Federico, thank you so much for jumping on the show and telling us here, telling Keep Scanners what you guys are up to with We Tier. We look forward to see uh, where that goes. So please keep us informed. And yeah. thank you. Thank you thank for you. having us. Thank you for having us.